What I'm going to talk about is how we can um, restore an FG controller, whether it be a brand new one or whether it be one that's failed and you put another one in the field or one that got damaged. And how you can do this very easily from the web browser just by restoring um, a copy of the existing SD card or in fact just transferring the SD card from one controller to the next. So next, let's look at the SD card. I've opened this as SD card with password 123456. What I do is I back up under CT CPT backups here, a number of different backups. Now, the way you do that is to do a backup from the browser. So let's just log into the controller. Let's just type in 192.10.11. If you get this, you just go CPT graphics. We'll put in the password um, when it prompts us in a moment. And then what we can do is do a backup of this application. With the first time you do a backup, it will create that folder in your SD card. And all you do here is just go backup and put today's date. And let's call this, um, um, I don't know, let's call it AHU Master. And all you do is press backup. Now, to prove that's working, let's go back to the... SD card. I already had this folder created, but if you don't have it, CPT will do it for you. Go into here and you will see, let's just look at today's date. Let's just find where that is. Let me just do a refresh. And then up here, there you are, AHU master with today's date. And if I double click, you'll see there's the app file for the Sedona, there's the kits file, and then in the CPT folder it is now starting to create the backup. It doesn't take that long. Um, when it's finished it will just tell you it's finished. So I'll just let that run for a few minutes. Well not even that actually, it's probably less than two minutes. What this does is a complete backup. It backs up all your images, all your links, all your graphics, any special images that you've imported. It really is a total backup. And this is ideal to be used where um, you just want to use a web browser, no tools involved. And there you go, it just said backup is done. So to do the next part, to prove that I really have um, restored this from, as a, from a bare controller, what I'm going to do is flash the firmware. So all I do is go back to, I'm actually going to flash it so then I know there's nothing inside it. And then I'm going to simulate taking that SD card and putting it into another controller. So all I do is just go down to my normal place where I keep my firmware here and just paste this across. FG firmware. I'm actually going to put in the 07 firmware. There it is. Copy this across. Now, one thing about the FTP server is that it does contain a little bit of cache. So even though this tells you that it's fully transferred when it gets to 100%, it's best to wait about another 30 seconds just to um, take out any cache. Now, I also never close the FTP. I leave it open when I'm doing a flash. Go to the CPT, open the controller. And from here, what I'm going to do is do a reboot from the command that's up here under the EZIOFG. So this is quite a big app, so just wait for this um, wire sheet to load. I'm going to blitz this once I do the um, the reboot now because I'm going to flash the controller and what I'm going to do is just confirm that the red light came on after the reboot and there it goes and what I'm going to do then is wait for the red light to finish and then recommence this presentation. The flash is now complete so what we do now is just go into the controller. As you can see, nothing inside it, so the program has been erased. Now, if you want to look at what this looks like, of what the backup actually did when we did the full backup before I restore it, let's go into FileZilla, and let's just open the SD card again, go into the web, go to the CPT backups, and you will see here I've got the AHU master. If you go to CPT and then under app, you will see we have GR data, and these are all the graphics here. That's where they're stored. So um, what I'm going to do is copy this backup now to my CPT backup folder. 
which is further back here. Let me do, just grab that directory, CPT backups, just highlight it. And literally just take a right hand click and do download. And you can see it's copying all the images and everything. Now let's look at the structure of, let's just let this finish, but looking at the structure of where CPT is located, if you go to my D drive, this is where I keep it. I'm not saying you have to do it this way, but I do call it CPT development and I have two versions here. I could delete the last version, but I don't need to. Um, the one I'm using at the moment is this one. The important folders are the graphics because any um, imported graphics are stored in here. And as you can see, there's a few. If you go to um, files, they're important. Every time you change the IP address, you need to copy the files under the graphics, the .gr files into the new folder or you can download them from the controller. I'll show you that as well. So all I do when I install a new version of CPT is copy the files folder, the graphics folder, and the user libs. And of course the Sedona folder I merge with the new one. And that's it. Um, and then, so if you go to my CPT development folder, I would end up with a third version here that could be say, you know, the 30th of April or something like that. And all I do is go and copy files, graphics, Sedona user libs and then you everything will look just normal again and what I do then is I just pin the new cpt.exe to the taskbar and that's it really quite simple so next we start the browser just type in 192.10.11 or whatever it is if you get this screen which is a default screen just hit the cpt graphics button as you can see, this actually comes from the SD card. So the SD card is the key to the recovery of this controller. Now, the graphics probably won't load because we don't have any logic in there. So all I need to do is just go restore. And when I restore it, you'll see I get a library of all my backups. But I'm going to take the AHU master one and just do restore. And all that does now is just starts um, recompiling the um, CPT folder in the SD card. It starts to put the logic back in and it will probably just take a couple of minutes. The controller will restart and it will be fully programmed. And then once this is finished, what we will do is just import the graphics back into the CPT tool again. Okay, the graphics have restored. What it will do is um, it will either just fail the browser or you just do a refresh and it will take you to this login screen. Let's just log in again. This time we will see graphics because we've restored this 100% to what it was before. If we open CPT, we can go and have a look at that. But what I'm going to do before I go to the graphics in CPT is I'm actually going to delete them from the files folder in the CPT dev folder. So let's just get this to come up like so. And what we will do then is go into my CPT dev folder which is on my D drive, CPT dev, this version, files, 10.11. And you can see I've got all these graphics and I'm going to delete all of them. There you go. Um, and what I'm going to do then is just go back to CPT, close that, go to my graphics. As you see, I don't have any graphics now. So what you need to do is just create a dummy one. I'm just going to call it AA and just do download and it will let because the controller has totally restored the application I can now download the templates to make any changes I want to do by just downloading them directly through the CPT from the controller and it drops them in my CPT files folder and there you go they're all there and if you go back to files now you'll see I have a full list and I can either delete this here the AA one or I can delete in CPT let's delete in CPT Let's do delete there, go back to my file explorer and you will see it's disappeared here. So it's pretty foolproof. This is a really good way of backing things up. So you can see there my graphics, that's what's in the controller now, they're all linked. If you want to prove they're working, you could just go say to this item here, go to where it says data or text, whatever the, the binding is. And what do you do here is you just click right hand mouse and do edit event and it will show you where it's linked. So you can see chiller two out is, is coming to this label. And you can actually do that for any of the charts and you can also copy them to other controllers and go through and edit them 
in this way. So I think that's, um, I think you'll agree that's pretty impressive. It gives you a fairly bomb-proof um, setup.